god hey you guys <laughs> what is going on with y'all happy new year i hope everything that you want to come true this new year comes i wish y'all nothing but health wealth and prosperity child like i wish y'all just to be happy to be honest but happy freaking new year but girl let me get into it so as you guys see the setup is new of course because we are in my new home um, so for the first time in my life ever, girl, I'm tapping into my grown woman area. I don't care what y'all say, but I'm in my grown woman er, as y'all see. Basically, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm very nesty right now. You know, I'm nesty. I know they use that for pregnant girls, but I feel like I'm just very nesty right now. Like I just been worried about getting my, oh shoot. Girl, not one of my nails thought it was going to pop off one of my little press ones. I must then glue her down good. But no, for real, I'm really nasty right now. Like, and when I say nasty, you know, I ain't with chat or nothing. But I feel like I just been wanting to get my house in order. I've been doing a lot of decor things. And also, I know with this time with my home, I'm just very much more intentional on how I want it to look. I want it to be comfortable. I want it to be a home. I don't want it to be like something temporarily. Like, I'm just, you know how you first buy a house or you know how you first get your apartment and then you just like, let me just get stuff in here that's cheap that just, you know, semi look all right, but it's not like ideally what I 100% want. It's just like, I'm just doing it. I think right now I'm intentionally buying things that I absolutely love. If it's more expensive than something else, I don't just go for the cheaper alternative just cause it's cheaper. I really am going for things that I want. So today is going to be my first home decor slash organization video. I'm going to do a haul of a lot of items. I got things from Hobby Lobby, um, Amazon, Target was like one of my faves. And then I also got stuff from the container store. Let's get into these items. I think I'm gonna start with the container store first. And also if you guys want any of these items, I will have them linked below. I'll be using my affiliate links cause most of this stuff I did buy in the store, but they do have them available on store. So, you know, Let's see. So this was my first time actually in the container store. Well, no, it's probably like my first or second time in the container store. So with me, I like to organize things. Um, now I'm trying to be more organized and keep stuff like more uniform in a place. It belongs there. So I think that this definitely helped me out with that. Ended up getting this and it's like a container tray. Um, this goes into my kitchen and I'm gonna be utilizing this for my spoons, forks, knives. And that's pretty much what I keep in a drawer. Everything else, I mean, I do have like my big spoons and stuff like that, so I'll possibly put that there. You know, like the big ones for like salads or stuff like that. But um, I wanted to get this because I just felt like, I don't know, when I see acrylic clear things, it just makes me feel like it's a lot more well put together. And then anytime I ever will want to like, you know, with the white ones, I have had white ones before, but I just wanted to upgrade my look. I don't know. I was just really into upgrading my vibe. So I normally have like the white ones or like a, you know, beige one, but I was like, okay, I'm really going to actually get one. So like I was saying, it was one in the container store for like $12. It was a white one. And then I was like, but I really like the clear one. So I was like, I'm going to pay the extra money and just get the clear one instead of saving money. So that was one of them things where I was just like, okay, let me just go ahead and do it, you know? But it was $19.99. So next, you guys know I do a lot of hair reviews and I mean, I just do my hair on a regular basis anyway. So I wanted to get some slots for my hair stuff. I always see organizational videos of like, you know, people using hair stuff in like, it'll be containers. But with me, I actually wanted like a pull out drawer. These containers are made for shoes. They have two different sizes. So they have the smaller size, which is like this one for like your more smaller shoes. But I feel like even though it's for shoes, I don't really want to put my shoes in the drawers. I would prefer to have my shoes. I'll show you how I'm gonna have my shoes because I want to do them like on a rack. But I don't want my shoes in here. So I was like, okay, let me try to use this because it's an acrylic drawer. I can look through it and I also can see, um, I can just kind of pull it out and then they're stackable. So of course I got this size. I believe I got like 10 in this size and this is the smaller one. But these are perfect for like uh, my hair glues. I also put like a lot of my stocking caps inside of here for like, you know, my ball cap method, um, scrunchies, just different miscellaneous things and they all have a slot and they see how it just stacks on there and then you can kind of just pull them out. Boom, 
boom. But you have to be very careful. Even the sales associate was telling me, she was like, they're kind of fragile. So they're liable to break if you're too like, if they drop or if they crack, like they can easily do that, which I can tell. So for $9.99, I'm not gonna lie. For the size, it did work, but they are, I don't know any containers that you can buy that's actually heavy duty in a good price. With me, they're gonna be stationary. I'm not gonna be really moving them around too much. So I just thought it was ideally perfect, but that's what I'm gonna use the small ones for. Now I have the one over here that is the larger shoe size one. And this one is technically, um, this one is $15.99 actually. And it's way bigger, as you can see. So it's definitely like more space, more deeper. You guys see that as well. And it is stackable. Um, so with these, I decided I was going to put like my flat arms in one, my curling irons in another, and then I was gonna use also, what else was it? My crimpers. But I noticed with my curling irons, they weren't really fitting. Flat arms, they fit in there perfectly. Even my crimpers, they fit perfectly, but my curling irons were like a little bit more, you know, so I had to kind of tilt them a little bit for them to fit in, but they still overall fit inside of here and they're stackable as well, but I didn't just want to have like a bunch of containers just showing you guys. So I could put this one down, but it's the same as the smaller one where it's just stackable as well. And yeah, this is how it turned out. But I just love the fact I can see through them. They're clear, they keep everything organized and my stuff isn't all over the place. So these will be upstairs in my bathroom underneath my sink. So when I needed something like this morning, it was so convenient when I was like um, touching up my wig, I literally was just pulling stuff out and then put it back, put it back. So I loved it. Like this was definitely a great investment for me. I used to tell people all the time that I was a freaking Walmart girl. Baby, it ain't no way. I am a Target girl now. Like, I like their decor. I like the things they have in there. Also, their little bumper. With Target, I did get some great stuff in there. And also, I did see things that were on sale. So I was like, okay. And it was so crazy. I didn't even know I was in the sales section. And so when I was picking up, I was like, oh, it's a yellow tag. But I knew specifically what I was looking for. I wanted, like, things that were sand color or tan, but it had more of a tannish grayish tone to it. I was looking for all stuff like that and I found it. Like I was like, okay, this is working perfectly. So I ended up first off, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you everything that kind of like started with the base off. So first things first, I ended up, so I ended up getting this looped rug. Um, It's pretty big, it's actually pretty big. And it was like sand color. So I was like, okay, it's giving me that tannish grayish tone of like, I don't know, it just looks, I was looking for a really, neutral items and neutral things and i love that this has almost like tan or gray mixed with like beige and they're like looped and wrapped around each other and they're like way comfortable so i got like two of these rugs because i thought it would match perfectly in my bathroom um so i got two of these and then i also went ahead and was like let me do like a little contrast color this rug is like a little textured rug it's the same um, brand as this rug, but they're not like the exact same color, but clearly they're not the same color. But this tan is wrapped in these little flats, can see. And I like the texture of this, number one. I don't want just basic rugs, and I believe these were like $20 a piece or $15 a piece, but I have them linked below. So I got these two to complement each other for my floor mats or floor rugs in my bathroom, and yeah. But it was crazy because I went to multiple Targets because like, girl, I'd be like just in Target just to go. I didn't see a lot of them with this one. And these were only like the last two, I believe. So they were like really selling out of this because I went to other Targets and I seen this one. But this one was the one that was pretty much everybody was, you know, tearing it up. Now, the crazy part about it is, remember I told you I wanted the tones to me. I ended up finding me some towels. And they were given like that sand grayish color. So I was like, okay, everything's starting to match. It's starting to go together. Um, and they're also the same brand, which I was glad about because I was like, I kind of want my towels and my rugs to match each other in the bathroom because I don't know if you guys see my house tour. If you haven't, go check it out. But in my bathroom, the master bathroom, you see that it's like already tannish in there, like a tan, Aztec, marbly looking color. So I wanted to pick up like a darker tone, but still keep that look. Now I did that and then I also got these as well, these towels to offset 
These are fairly, you know, good towels, pretty great quality from what I feel. They're a threshold, of course, but I won't be using these towels. I'll be having these hung up for like decor. So I have to actually um, try to figure out a way to creatively tie my towels because I want it to look, I want each area in my house when you walk in to look like a hotel type vibe. So I was going with a lot of neutrals, a lot of statement pieces, or, you know, not just your little traditional container type vibe. Like I wanted it to really look like something, you know? So depending on, and I didn't also, another thing I didn't take in consideration is I do have more than two bathroom racks. So I might have to actually get some more things to just, you know, offset other stuff and make it look really, really good. But stay tuned, cause I'm gonna be showing y'all. Cause like I said, I'm gonna be doing my bathroom decor video and just decoring that whole thing, showing y'all what it looked like and going into that. I ended up getting this like wicker woven trash can um, for my bathroom. And then it has just a little top on it. And then it also comes with like the little clear trash can inside of it. So if it gets too crazy, girl, you can literally just take that out and replace it. Um, I bought liners for it as well off Amazon. And this is what it looks like. I think it gives me that modern neutral feel. It did match the rugs perfectly. And I feel like the bathroom, cause I put the rugs upstairs. I'm like, let me put them upstairs real quick to see if they look right. And they did look right. So everything looked fairly good together. So I was like really excited about that. They do have a new collection in Target right now. So if you guys are on like this look or this kind of like textured trash cans, you definitely should go to Target because they are tearing up and this was like the last one. And they had these little candle holes. Well, I wasn't even, I didn't even know I was in the clearance area. I was in the area cause the way Target has, they mix their clearance up with the regular stuff. But um, I was in there and I seen these and I was like, oh my gosh, these looks really nice because I'm trying to do like a little arrangement area that looks like really nice and really pretty. Um, and it's just like multiple things at once. Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about because I do not think I'm explaining this correctly, but these were there and they were $10 a piece. They're like little candle holders. So I did buy like small candles for them, but I ended up getting them for a dollar. I was like, oh no, like I need these. And like I said, I was looking for things of that color anyway. And then they just ended up looking good because it gives me like a clay look. Like I'm gonna show y'all up close. Like it gives me like a very clay, Aztec, modern, new, very versatile look. <laughs> I don't think I'd be having the word for it, but yeah, it just gave me that. And then it has like a little brown trim at the bottom of it. And I like that cause it wasn't just like solid, but it wasn't much, like it's not like a big detail, but it's just like a little enough that you can really appreciate it, you know? So I was like, okay, let me get the candles. So like I say, even if you guys don't do the same thing I can do, you can kind of mix and match and do your own thing with it. And then I seen this set, I was like, oh my God. So the little set was back there. And I am not sure why this was on clearance at all because I was loving it. So it's multiple different pieces to it. So I'll show you guys. Um, first things first, you have this jar and it's just like a little, you have this jar, it is functioning so you can actually use it, but it is taped shut right now. So I'm just gonna leave it. And it's like a little canister. So it's like a bath storage can canister. It was so crazy. It was like, it was meant for me to have my bathroom to be this particular color because everything just started going together so well. And then this is like a smaller canister. And then this one actually was $5.99 and it went down to um, $2.99. And it's the same, it has a little top. So this would be really good for like Q-tips or like um, little cotton balls or, you know, just anything, maybe some little, hmm, I don't know, maybe some little toothpicks or maybe a floss, something in here. So I ended up getting two of these because I was like, okay, I'm gonna see if I can like work something out. And then I'd rather have like more than just these two because I mean, these two could have worked, but I'm trying to really do a little something. I'm trying to elevate as well. And then, so this is like the little valet tray, the little bathroom tray. So everything can kind of sit on top of this or you can just play with it. I'm gonna see what I can do with it. I'm not sure, but I've been noticing, I've been liking to pay more attention to detail. And I noticed like when you go to hotels, they do have like the can, the little flat surface tray that they sit everything on and that's kind of like all together. So I wanted to get that vibe. And this ended up being $5.99 and it was actually marked down twice. They have two things. So it was $19.99. Wow. Okay, this was $19.99. I'm like, okay, bet. And then I guess the material I'm looking for is this giving like stone. 
stone colored. That would probably work better <laughs> for me to explain stuff. So this was actually $4.99 and it went down to $2.99. Um, it's just a little trinket dish. Like you could just throw your ring in or, you know, just something there. I wish they kind of had something for the toothbrush and stuff, but I already got a little something, but I'll figure it out. But all these together were like different colors, but they kind of all work, you know? So we'll see what I come up with because I definitely think I have some things in store and I'm going to play with like the placement of this. But child, I was like, okay, like it's cute, especially for the bathroom. So we're going to see, we're going to see because especially it was on sale. And I wasn't even looking for stuff on sale. Like I said, I was just looking to go in there and figure out what I could get and see what was available. Oh, wow. So with this, also, I was over there looking for scents. I've been into scents so much, like candles, freaking incense, um, diffuser oils. Like, I've just been into so many scents. So when I went over there, now this actually wasn't clearance. I was in another Target and I seen it. And I was like, okay, this is kind of... You know, now when I was in the clearance and I seen this, I purposely grabbed it because I was like, this is my first time actually using this type of fragrance room scent. So I was like, I don't want to spend a lot of money on something and then I, I, I like it. Um, because these are always replaceable, they're always going to run out, so you always going to have to do more. This is an oil diffuser. So with these, they're like the little oils and then you have the little sticks that you put inside of them and they're so aesthetically pretty. Like I first seen them when I went to my gym, they used to have them in there and I got this scent um, zest and I thought that might be good for a bathroom because it kind of gave me lemony and lemony always cancels out like smells or scents and stuff so I wanted to try this this was actually $19.99 I got it for $13.99 um, so it says you just pretty much you put the you put the little reeds which are the little sticks inside of the oil diffuser the reeds actually soak them up and then it should Sent the room for a while. It says allow 30, 24 to 36 hours for it to absorb. Not for sure how long it will work for, but I'm really, I think it'll give the bathroom a new modern look. I was trying to go for things that were like newer and modern, but with my scents, I'm always gonna buy them on sale. And also, if y'all, by the time y'all see this video, definitely run to your local Target because when I tell you I got candles in there, three wick candles for 99 cents, 60 cents, I was like, okay, I'm always gonna buy a candle on the sale. You know what I'm saying? Like cheap, cheap. So this actually is peel and stick removable wallpaper um it is like a leafy print and it kind of looks like a leaf but it also kind of looks like mm, like tribal and then I also got this one so with this one I'm thinking about putting it in the bathroom of course we're gonna see if it looks good y'all will see it in the video if it doesn't then I will laugh y'all won't see it but I do want to try a peeling stick and it has so many different prints over there shapes colors it was only $30 and this is about it says 16 feet. It says 20 inches by 16 feet and six inches. Um, it was a lot in here. And with my bathroom, I'm not doing every single wall. I'm only doing like accent walls. So I think I'm only doing like the wall next to the mirror. So it should be fairly enough to achieve that look. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I ended up getting two of these just in case. So also I will let you guys know how many I ended up using to actually achieve the bathroom and see what it looks like. And then we have over here is another one. Now I wanted to do something different that I seen on Pinterest with this one. Now these are like little polka dots, but they're abstract polka dots. And I seen somebody actually put these on their stairs, like the face of the stairs. And even on here, it has a little face of the stairs, but I seen it on actual TikTok. Um, I seen it on TikTok and Pinterest. And I want to just cut these and put them on the face of the stairs. And also I'm thinking about using this into the bathroom in my guest bathroom downstairs. So we're gonna see. It's my first time, so it's peel and stick. So from what I was reading, peel and stick is like fairly easy because some wallpapers you need to put the stuff down and then put it over, but I ain't nobody got time for that. Like, you know, I like to be crafty, but I ain't trying to be that crafty. So with this one, I'm just gonna cut it, put it on there, and then I think it was like $30. I got two of these ones as well, so we'll see just how much I needed that. I ended up getting this. This was another little organizer. So this acrylic organizer actually was from Target. Um, it was way cheaper. So this was like five dollars for three tiers. Now I'm gonna utilize this in the bathroom as well, but um, they didn't have big ones. So I didn't see the big three drawer organizers. That's why I ended up getting mine from the container store, but these for 
from Target are a look. And it actually opens right there. I ain't gonna lie, these seem a little more heavy dutier than the freaking um, container store ones. Cause you can just, I don't know, you can just kind of feel the vibe. So these are like way smaller, but they didn't have big ones for my hair tools. So that's why I ended up getting the container store ones. But we're gonna see. I mean, far as right now, everything is working. I don't have no complaints, no issues, but moving forward, we're gonna see what happens. You know what I'm saying? So we're still in Target. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and show you these. My kitchen is like oak wood. And I wanted to offset it with another wood. And then I also want to do black. So I got these. This is like the little footed tray. And you actually put that down and then you can put bowls on it. Or maybe I could put other decor items, even a mug or something on it. The bowl was like $20. I thought that was like the best price I've seen because I went to Crate and Brayer crate and barrel and they were like $60 in there and then this little tray I believe was like $12.99 um but I'm going to utilize it in the kitchen somewhere so it can be seen or I probably use this for like fruit and stuff so I just wanted something to elevate it a little bit more and then also with the kitchen I ended up getting some rugs so I ended up getting the black textured rug as well it actually is a bath rug <laughs> but I feel like it's not too much difference to me from the water that's gonna be in the bathroom and water that's gonna be in the kitchen you know so i ended up getting this in the kitchen um but i got two of them or three of them so we're gonna see because i also got another rug in there but i want my kitchen to be like black wooden and sleek so honey it's gonna be so cute when i finish it that's why i said y'all gotta definitely stay tuned because i got some vibes coming from my kitchen for sure for sure Uncle matt actually matches the decor of my kitchen really well of that black and wooden look right here, like the brown look. But I'm not gonna keep it because I found one for cheaper. This was like $12, that still wasn't a bad price. Or I might keep it and just switch it out, but I'm not gonna be using this like right away. I'm gonna use my other one I prefer. And then, yeah, this is my little doormat or whatever. It's cute, super cute, super clean, super chic. Most time you see like all brown ones. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and give me a little black one because I want to do something different, period. So that was all for my Target portion. Now I have to go into my Amazon and that is like massive as hell. So give me a minute to like put all that together. <laughs> I want to talk about my, um, I went to Hobby Lobby as well and I got some things out of there. So first things first, remember I told y'all about the little candle holders I got from Target. This is the little candles I ended up getting for Hobby Lobby and they were only like a dollar, but I like the fact that they're like a beige color, not just the white one. So they look, you know, this is how it fits in there, just like that. So if I did want to burn it, it could burn down. Oh, they're not a dollar fifty. They were like 79 cents, but this is the color ivory. So it actually fits really good in here. Where are you going, honey? You don't know, but I ended up getting two of them and I got the small ones. I didn't need the tall ones. I just wanted the small ones. So uh, this was so cute for just $1.79. This is a whole little setup. So we're going to see how I play it out because it's going to look so nice. <laughs> um, grass, I feel like they're super popular right now and they were $5.99 and on sale. I think 40% off or 30% off. So I only ended up paying like $2 and some change for them. So I got different colors. I got the little nude colored ones like ivory. I also got like a little, you know, rosy, dusty pink ones. And then these ones are like a little coffee, not coffee, but like a little new tan milky ones. So I got these. I'm gonna put these actually in a vase and you guys will see just how cute that is. But this is what I got from Hobby Lobby. Also got some from Amazon as well. And I'm gonna show you guys those, but these are the ones I got from this. And I wanted to do like different dimensions. So that's why I mixed the colors up. Um, but it might still be on sale as well if you go on there. But I was looking for some grass. They're super popular. It gives the look, it gives it such a boho look. And I'm going for like a boho chic, like very neutral tone bathroom. And when I take pictures in it, you're like, oh, your bathroom is so pretty. Like that's what I'm really going for. So we're going to see because I think it's going to come together fairly well because everything looks so far just looks so good. Like, oh, my God. And each one of these, this is how big one is. So, you know, you probably not even needing that much depending on how much you would want. And then this is about how tall it is. So I think it, it doesn't say. It doesn't say, but the brand is Studio His and Hers. So, you know, this is how big one is if you wanted to get it. And it just comes off little leaves just like that. And yeah, super duper cute. 
super cute and i'm gonna show y'all some amazon options as well that's what i'm about to get into now my amazon stuff i have so many things over there it's a massive haul <laughs> like a lot of stuff so, and it's a bunch of different miscellaneous stuff so definitely stay tuned because girl that's a lot a lot over there like a lot a lot okay y'all so this now portion is going to be about me talking about amazon so i told you i got a bunch of stuff from off of there so um i did want to compare prices with certain stuff and i did see a lot of the stuff ended up being cheaper on amazon but i had already went to the store and bought like majority of some of the stuff but i did get a lot of stuff from amazon so i got these towels i have an ivory color and i also have the black ones now the towels do come packaged like this and you get six towels you get two bath towels two hand towels and then two little face cloths so they all come in here and it's for twenty dollars so i got the black version as well so we're gonna see i'm gonna you know mix and match it up and see what i can do to do a lot of color contrasting with them the towels i'm not gonna lie they are cheaper than um target but they are thinner than target but to be honest i don't know if it really matters because i'm going to be using these towels for decor like they're gonna be the ones that hang on my little bath rack, you know? So I, eh, it could go either way, it could go either way. You know what might be even cuter is just using some cuffs. You know how I use the cuffs? I just thought about that because if I hadn't, child, I would have cuffed them up. But yes, that was like $20. I remember I told you guys I ended up getting these from Target as well on sale, but intentionally I really wanted some black ones. Um, for my bathroom decor upstairs, it's kind of giving very abstract black is the base but it does have tones of nude orange browns those kind of colors so i ended up getting these two trays they were 20 dollars on amazon for both of them so you have like the shorter one that's a little bit more rectangular like a thicker rectangle and then you have the other one which is like a skinnier rectangle um both are really good for being like soap dishes or not soap um, being dishes for the sink, uh, basically putting toothbrushes, you know, soap dispenser, those type of things. So that's what I will actually be utilizing these as. And I ended up buying me some soap dispensers. So they were like $15. So I got a two pack of soap dispensers as well. And I love these because they look like quality. They're a bump up from just a regular, like, you know, basic soap dispenser. Um, and just to hook them up, they were super duper easy. I ended up getting two, of course, though. It comes in a pack, but um, basically you just unscrew the top, the little thing right here, the little tongue part or little straw part, it was, it was um, detached. So I just slid it in there, put it in here and twist it. They're big. I just love them. They're super cute. So um and they look grown they look great quality and expensive okay so these were $15.99 I believe for the set and um I love how it can fit right on here or this is skinny enough that it can fit this width on it and then also this one works as well which I think most likely I'll probably use this one it will make the most sense not unless I have a bunch of variety of things to put on but I would put it up here and then um, the great thing I love about this big jar is that it does come with like the little, um, what is these called? Like the little tags, I guess you could say. And you just put them on in there. They have hand soap, lotion, dish soap, and soap. So I will put like the hand soap one for here and then lotion for the other and fill them both up and just have them in that guest bathroom for people that come over and they want to, you know, get it together. So I thought that'd be cute, especially with like guests and stuff. So yeah, it's giving very much so hotel vibes. I told you I was going for the hotel and it's great quality. They're super thick and the glass is like, like really, really good these little donut vases vases um they actually have these in target as well if you want the ones with the lamp they have them available in target so i was like okay that's like dope and it's so crazy like they have um they're only 12 dollars in target too if you want to get some so keep that in mind if you were interested they're 12 dollars in target but i ended up getting the vase this was 15 dollars off of amazon I got one. I should have got two because they had like a dual deal if you want it both. But it's just like a ceramic vase. And then I can put like my little pompous grass in here or other little things inside of here. Um, I have like cattails and stuff. I have different. I have like a whole 
bundle bouquet of different things so i will be like spacing out to whatever looks the most appropriate but i like these vases every time i see them they look so expensive anytime a girl posts them on tiktok and instagram i'm like oh my god it looks so aesthetically pretty like they're just different so yes i was like okay this is cute so i got this as well but no lie i feel like you can definitely find it for somewhere cheaper if you wanted it to so you know but amazon was just the most convenient because i was like i want one i don't know where to get it i bought it and then when i went to target i literally seen them in there for 12 dollars. so i think depending on what store it is certain things will be cheaper certain places you know so it's just you got to make it your own next i got this wall art it's like four of them that come so this one says unwind and this is like what it pretty much looks like as well and then it has the one that says relax um and these are to match my bathroom shower curtain um they are so nice looking and they match but I wasn't for sure if I was gonna like every single one of them so I was like okay let me just try to get them and then if I don't like them the thing I love about Amazon is you can return them but they just give me like peace and serenity. They're very, very thin. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. I thought the coloring on the background would be a lot lighter um, because I do have the rug that matches as well. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So, I mean, I thought it would be a little bit lighter. I don't know if the lighting is throwing it off on camera for y'all, but it's not the same. This is a little darker, but we'll see. Cause if I hang it up and it all looks good because they're not like right beside each other, then we are gonna rock. But yeah, they're just like nice little wall art. These were $15. Um, so we'll see. I think it's going to add something to the bathroom. I'm not sure exactly what. So this is one of the things where I'm very questionable. I don't know if it's a stay or a go. So I ordered me two different rugs, but I don't know why they came. They're coming at two different times. So I ordered them at the same time, but this one came quicker than the other. Um, the other one I ended up getting is black. It didn't make it for the haul, so I'm just gonna show y'all, but I'm pretty sure they're both gonna be the same quality. Um, with this one, they're different because this is thicker and this is thinner, so don't think that that's like messed up, because at first I was like, why is that like that? But it's purposely supposed to be like that. Um, so yeah, it's just a microfiber mat um, with a print on it. It does match the shower curtain fairly well, so yes. I'm gonna see though, cause I've never really done bathroom mats with a print. I've always had a bathroom mat that was just like basic. So we are gonna see if I like, like, I think I'm gonna like it though. Cause I already like the mat just by itself. It looks really nice. Um, it is a little bit thinner, but I do like it. I like it a lot. I think it's gonna add something to the bathroom. So we'll see girls. Okay, so I feel like I had to see what was gonna look and what wasn't gonna give. So I'm on a very artistic, very tribal, very abstract vibe. And this worked so well. Like, oh my gosh, look at it. It looks so good. So I like these. Um, like I said, I don't know which one is gonna actually fit for my bathroom, I don't. So whatever looks the best and I feel goes the best, we gonna rock with that one, cause that's where it's gonna go. But this is what it looks like. Super cute, super fun. And it's $35.99 for all three of these and they are way cheaper because when you go into Target or any store like that, Hobby Lobby, they're gonna charge you like 35 to $40 just for one. So for these to be $35.99 for three, okay, big bet. And um, yeah, they're all 12, they're all 12 by 16. Um, I've seen some people like hang them three ways, all like, or you can do them like, or I don't know, I gotta see because the bathroom, I mean, come on now, it's a bathroom. So we don't wanna have it like overwhelmed with shapes, but it does match this vibe. So you see how like that is that and that is that. Like, we don't know, we're gonna see. Cause even with this, I do like that it's not just white. It's like this ivory, then it's like a white, soft white, then it's like the little print. So it's not just all white and then the print, you know? So it has different little dimensions to it, but you're gonna buy your artwork you definitely need to go on Amazon because that's where it's gonna be the cheapest I promise you hands down because I've seen girl I've been out here in these streets floating and looking her curtain was like one of my cheapest items in my bathroom surprisingly and it was like 16 17.99 so it comes with these little white ones but I ain't gonna hold you they kind of cheap looking and they didn't match the aesthetic of the bathroom so I'm like I'm definitely not using those so I ended up buying some as well. I'll show you those that I ended up getting, but this is the print 
for the shower curtain. Um, Y'all not gonna be able to see this whole thing because it's too big. So I'm going to actually insert the print right here. This is a shower curtain. Um, it's just a shower curtain. It's not shiny. It's just Ragnar, like what, vinyl, I'm assuming. Geometric shower curtain. It's just basic. It's just, just basic. But I mean, the print on it does look good. It doesn't look like cheap. Should have got me a freaking steamer so I could steam the hell out of this. And then, you know, this is what it looks like from Amazon. So the whole bathroom is pretty much done with Amazon. The whole bathroom is pretty much done with Amazon products. And then instead of using these little things, that's what come with it. I didn't even know they came with it, but I wasn't using them no way. So um, this little packet is filled with these little shower hook hangers, like a little horseshoe. And I thought this looks a lot more attractive, a lot more with the vibe. So ended up going ahead and purchasing those and those are black and I think those were fairly cheap oh yeah those were only $7.97 and they also come with different varieties of colors so if that's not the color you want it will be a color on there for you guys to look at okay so I ended up putting this together last night it was so easy so even if you're not like a really handy person which I technically am now because I do be putting a lot of stuff together I got that and I put it together and it was it was just the simplest thing. So this is actually a foot stool kind of, or stool for your shower. Um, this is going in my personal bathroom. So I feel like my shower is so big. Sometimes I want to sit in it and just sit and steam and just be in a shower. So I wanted to get a stool so I can sit in there because it's not actually a ledge in there. Um, and this was $35. Quickly put it together. It was just seamless. It was my thing. Put it in and I utilized it. I am also got some more decor coming from my bathroom, so I will do another haul for you guys and show y'all all of that stuff, but baby, I got a lot of stuff, and when I tell you it was giving, it was giving. So that was like everything, I believe, for the bathroom now. We, well, kind of for the bathroom, so we're going out of the bathroom now. So also, with my bathroom, they didn't have like the little toilet hangers. They had like something weird in there that was on the ground. I was like, oh no, I need to put something up. So I'm actually gonna install these today. Baby, I don't know how I'm gonna install these because I've never installed these, but I've installed so much stuff that I'm not opposed to me just doing it. So I'm gonna try that today. Y'all are probably gonna be there with me like, girl, what are you doing? Child, we are gonna see. So I got these and it was $7 very modern clean that's why i said people can really make a house look updated new and just like well put together by just switching around a few pieces like just using one of these instead of using a plastic one or even the glass one i feel like they just give me so old school you know so this one was like seven dollars and they have two different shapes on there but i'm gonna put them together y'all gonna see that i'm gonna just read the manual use my little drill like i got a little woman drill so we're gonna see it's gonna go so you guys so I ended up getting this and this is like my little bar. Oh my God, y'all, I love it. I'm in absolute love. Um, it looks fairly good and it's like, you can hold up to like nine wines in it, but I'm working on my whole bar area. That's why I said when I get the rest of my stuff, I'm gonna do a total haul for that. But I put it together myself. It was really easy to put together. It doesn't feel the sturdiest, I ain't gonna hold you though. I don't know if that was the way I put it together or just the way it was, but when I put my wines on, it was sturdier with wine on it. When I had my wine on it, it actually held it like good. But when it wasn't the wine on it, it wasn't holding like good. Like, you know, so it was one of them things that was going back and forth, back and forth. But I mean, when I put the wine on it, it looked really good and it's nice. I like how abstract it is and it's just not like a little boring wine thing. Cause I was looking at some that was like little circles and they wasn't doing it for me. So I like this one, I don't know, it looks cute really really cute but like I said when you put the wine on it it just gave me like it was like really like ain't going nowhere but like when it just be sitting it don't wobble or nothing but it just I don't know it was just something so this is what it looks like and I put it together myself very easy last night it was like not much work at all so I ended up getting me a chandelier like I wanted a chandelier so inside of my closet the lighting is um, trash. And also I wanted the fixtures to be changed because I feel like they look old. So I got this chandelier off Amazon, it was only $40. And um, it's very easy to install. It had like pretty much self-explanatory rules of how to install. So I'm gonna try to do that tonight as well. But I need somebody's help because I said it's like a two person job. So I'm gonna work on that myself. But it's like $40, it doesn't come with the lights. 
So if you do want the lights on, you have to install the lights yourself. I mean, purchase the lights separately and I purchased like some little lights that come with it. I'll link them below as well, the lights that I ended up using, but yeah, I got me a little chandelier. And also you guys see how nice and pretty it looks. Hey you guys, so my mic went out after this because it's broke, but I now got a new mic, so don't worry about it. But I was just saying, basically, I have a new video that's gonna be coming out. It's gonna be the decor on both my bathrooms. So definitely stay tuned. I appreciate you you guys also let me know if you like these types of videos below but yeah i'm gonna go back to the clip but girl it cut out because my mic was acting so crazy towards the end but thank y'all for seeing yes y'all i was super excited so i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i hope my mic didn't go in and out too much because my mic is actually broke right now so i'm trying to work on fixing it um but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. And I hope you guys really, really enjoyed my first like home haul. It was a lot of stuff.